I name is Oshika Solwadam Larry. I'm a mechanic. Welcome to Exxon F1, also known as from Lawan, Kulam, Africa. Good day! Please, like I've always clamored, please. I know you love what we're doing. Subscribe to my channel. Love it. I beg, like, um, be on my channel. You get the best news. I love you guys. Sometimes also comment on this social media. It helps my growth. Share, please. It's very important you share. <laughs> Hello wonderful people. Now we are doing more rebranding. Very soon we'll be having merch and perks that you can get on the channel. But for now, you know, you can give us super thanks, super messages, you can join or subscribe, which is great for us. And whatever you give us through YouTube is helping us to build more content. You know, now we are doing like two, three videos in a week. Sometimes we do five. We can do more content for you. We can tell you more truth you need to know about F1 and what they hide from you guys. Eyes. you know we can tell you the reality the things we see and be more more concerned with you we can give you more videos like you want to see and you want to hear the truth so you can go on the super tanks and click and see how you can donate to us and we can also join and some of the merchs will be coming now some will be in form of tags or clicks in which you can add when you go to the comment section but very soon we have some other merch that we can send to you merchandise we can send to you to appreciate you for following us and you would love it we're going to talk about Mercedes Wolves, how Max Verstappen hated the Las Vegas Grand Prix but won it. Now first, let me talk about my own boy Philip Janos. I think he's got to a point in which we need to talk about reality to ourselves as black people and if we don't start telling ourselves the truth, we will be hurting ourselves. I think there are lots of things FIA are doing wrong and there are lots of ways in which we are being pushed to ourselves as black people and if as black people we cannot help ourselves then there's a problem with us. Then, I think if there are FI representatives in Nigeria and nobody is coming out to help Nigerians in diaspora in racing. I think it's a shame on us. It's a big shame on us. It shows that we don't value our own and we don't even know where we are going to. I'm calling on every woman in Nigeria to come out and support this young man. That being said, let me go to Mercedes. Coming from the Brazilian Grand Prix, that was a disaster for Mercedes. Coming to Las Vegas, I can tell you, they had a strong pace. The qualifying didn't really favor them they had a strong pace they started strong but what really happened to mercedes now from the beginning we can see the tango that happened on turn one between carlos Sainz, valtteri botas alonso and some few other people that was where the mercedes problem started today that took Lewis Hamilton back about um he started 10th he went back to 14th 15th he started coming back again he got to uh, around five he was on the best tire starting the race he had the best strategy he could have changed tires when the yellow flag came out that was when the accident between george russell and max verstappen happened or you could have changed tire even later when there was another yellow flag because um, it was on the best strategy you would have just done one stop instead of two stops and that was it you could have been on the podium but he had the tango with oscar piastri like i said that is a normal racing incident and at the end of the day that set him back another 12 steps backwards so he started again from 17 to start lapping till he got finished in the seventh position now from qualifying bad yesterday to having that kind of race and to george russell what happened to george russell also had a bad race he started good he was working his way up but for his collision with max verstappen that got him five second penalty which that should have been a racing incident that also set him back and he ended eighth position now how did this affect <laughs> mercedes race if george russell had ended the fourth position in which he ended then they would have been like 10 15 points of grace between them and ferrari but at the end of the day there are now four points between mercedes and Ferrari which shows they might not be able to hold that second place at the end of the day and they've really worked out for it. They've had a bad car all through the season. That's the continuation of their W13 in which we all know and it is of no fault of the drivers. It is for the team that brought a bad car knowing they brought one last year. They were trying to improve on the bad car. How can you improve on something that is bad? As in I don't know do you improve on something that is bad? They said this is bad and you're trying to improve on something that is bad. Ah Mercedes that is worse. I don't <laughs> say anything because it, it sounds crazy you are trying to improve something that is bad you have a bad character you are trying to improve the bad character to what to make it worse <laughs> 
<laughs> Mercedes will not kill me. But that really destroyed their race today and set them back a lot of places today. And I think Mercedes will have to do a lot of job in Abu Dhabi to maintain that second position. It's all for grab, but they need to do a very, very diligent job to maintain that second position. Now to Max Verstappen. Like I said in my last video, he has more than been more than grown. Now, towards the beginning of the race, during the pre-race, he starts showing interest in the race. At the end of the day, yesterday, he was still calling the Las Vegas Grand Prix a local football league while the Monaco the Champions League. I think he would have changed his mind now because during his interview with David Coulthard, he was asked about if he enjoyed the track. Today, he was not sincere at all in all his talks and all his dealings today. He was trying to hide it like um, all these MMM was saying he enjoyed the race. That race gave us 82 overtakes. That ranked it this year, the second race with the most overtakes. That is taking that race behind the Zanvoort Grand Prix this season. And it was interesting all through. It was not a race that you would be certain that someone will win. Though we knew Max Verstappen could win. Charles Leclerc could have won. But if the Mercedes had been in the play, it could have been up for grab for those three teams. But it was a good race. But why would he criticize something he has not raced on? You can't judge a book by its cover by saying, oh, I have done FP1, I've done qualifying, then this race is bad. No. Until you run the race, you cannot know how. And my own verdict, like I said, Las Vegas was a good race. And it was one of the best races of the season. No caps. But like I said, said Mercedes needs to work on their car next year if they to give us better racing. If they are bringing this same bad car to the next season to improve on it, I think they are still going back two years because they are two years down the line now. They have an understanding of what to improve. I've analyzed the Mercedes car even with the upgrades, with changing the sideboards, everything. Why right? it is still slow. It's a little bit faster but it's still slow compared to the Red Bull. But in another video, after the season, I will analyze what they need to do, what they are doing well, what they are doing wrong and what they need to do to make that car faster. But until then, I love you. Bye. She. Gibo gives you power. Gibo gives you control. Gibo gives you benefits. Are you an individual or business that uses fuel or gas? Use Gibo to find the best prices across all retail outlets in your city. For users and businesses that buy volumes, Gibo gives you access to credit. Gibo also gives you the ability to track your costs and monitor expenses per car or fleet. Need to improve your costs, enjoy incentives, or track expense? Gibo is the answer. Enjoy 5% discount on your first 5 purchases when you get your next fuel voucher from Gibo. Log on to www.gibo.co to enjoy this. Retail outlets wanted nationwide. I have a new friend in the house. We are in Nigeria, West Africa. He provides internet for us. They provide the best internet around the mainland and I know they are still moving to the highland and they are moving all around Nigeria. But for you to get internet on the mainland, contact Firebrad Telecom Limited. They get you sorted out. It's up. The best cable internet on the mainland. Fiber up, I think. They get sorted out. We talk much about them in the course of some of our videos, but contact them. They get sorted out. Teams Gadget is for those of you that cannot easily go to the market to get your phones, your laptops, your accessories. Just put place a call through. His phone number is there. You get you the best. It's a short plug to get you the best phones, accessories, laptops, games, and other accessories for, for your computer, gaming experience. Contact Teams Gadget and you get them for you.